Welcome back to the Mortgage Marketing Update. I'm Brian DeMarie. I'm a loan originator with Union Home Mortgage and the DeMarie Lending Team. I'm going to talk about inflation. I'm not going to bore you with the numbers, but they are going up pretty quickly for the last two months. Uh, we talked about this a few times about how you've seen everybody on the roads and everybody's in the stores and there's a lot of demand on product. And with all these people on unemployment, it's going to put a lot of pressure on the supply chain to get that product there. So demand is up, supply is low, and it's pushing prices up. And when this happens, uh, basically inflation is the enemy of the bonds market, which challenges the mortgage-backed security, which makes interest rates go up. So if this continues, we may have seen the lowest rates that we have for the year and maybe historically for a while. Uh, and just something to be aware of. Again, if you have anybody that's hesitating to purchase, now is the time. So we got some numbers this week for initial jobless claims. These are people that are claiming unemployment for the first time, uh, about 837,000. They're staying flat for the last couple of weeks, mostly slightly going down. But overall, we've got about 11.8 million people on unemployment, on the traditional unemployment. We've got another 11.8 million on the PUA, uh, Pandemic Unemployment Assistance. These are two different programs. They get indexed differently when they talk about unemployment numbers. You may hear that we're at about 8.5% unemployment. I think I heard they say that in the debate the other day actually closer to 15, 16. When we take this other program into consideration, it's a total of about 26 and a half million people receiving some kind of benefit continuously. That number is actually up uh, 500,000, half a million from last month. And so it's something to take into consideration. This number is usually 5 million. And remember yesterday when I said that Facebook, Instagram, and WhatsApp are going to combine to make one app, didn't know when. They actually announced that today, but it's not with WhatsApp. It's only Facebook Messenger and Instagram. And what does that mean for us in real estate? It means if you're running at, if you're running Facebook ads or Instagram ads just directly to your messenger, that's all going to fall into one place. It makes life a lot easier if you're going to sit there and answer those questions or if you have a chat bot or something like that. There'll also be some other things and themes and colors and some other little gizmos and stuff with emojis, but a lot of that's already on Messenger. It'll be really be coming into the Instagram Messenger as well. Next Tuesday at 12 o'clock on Zoom, going to be doing a USDA class, talking about rural areas, debt to income ratio, minimum credit score, the eligibility areas, maximum household income, things like this. Super important info. Uh, check us out on YouTube. All of these videos are backed up on YouTube. You can go back and watch all the old videos. Check us out at lilydemarie.com. Got a bunch of good resources there. You can go into all the different loans, see what the differences are, uh, and then check us out on Instagram. See you tomorrow.